Hello and welcome to the Health Technology Program Preview. Today I'll give you an overview of the various program streams you can take within health information and health informatics here at McMaster Continuing Education. My name is Monica Bilan and I'll be facilitating the session today. So let's start by going over the four health technology program streams that you can choose from. First, we have the Health Information Certificate, which is designed to help students develop fundamental knowledge for working with health information and health records. Health Informatics Diploma is designed for those looking for, to upskill or enter the field of healthcare technology, information systems, and analysis. It is suitable for those who are working in or wish to work in the areas healthcare, pharmacy, public health, medical research, IT vendor, and consulting firms. Next, the Health Information Management Diploma is designed with an in-depth understanding of healthcare technology. It is suitable for those seeking an information management program applicable to health, social services, or related professions. The Health Information Management Plus Diploma is designed for the most in-depth understanding of healthcare information, how it is collected, used, coded, and analyzed. It is suitable for those seeking a professional designation in health information management. As with all of our programs and courses offered at Continuing Education, you have the benefit of studying on a part-time basis so you can continue to work and meet your personal and professional demands. All of the courses are delivered online, which allows you to study from home and provides flexibility to fit course activities within your busy schedule. The schedule for most streams follows a cohort model which means that most students will begin their study in a particular term or session and progresses through the program together. The cohort model provides great opportunity to collaborate with learners from across Canada with varying levels of experience and working environments. You have the opportunity to develop your skills in interprofessional collaboration, which is required so often within the field of health information and health informatics. Finally, you're able to maintain your continuous study in the program as each course builds on the work covered in an earlier course. There are many courses to choose from within the health technology streams, from foundations of health informatics to data analytics and healthcare. You can visit our website to learn more about these courses. On the screen, you'll see uh, course requirements for each of the program streams. The health information management certificate requires five courses. Health information management diploma requires eight courses. The health informatics diploma requires nine courses and the health information management plus diploma requires three, 13 courses uh, with optional three coding courses afterwards if you wish. The health information management plus diploma program is applicable to individuals seeking a career in health information management, wishing, uh, meaning you wish to work towards a professional designation being a certified health information management professional. This program is accredited by the Canadian College of Health Information Management. Each of the programs have an online application process. For all the programs, your admission is based on your academic experience, employment, and your goals for the program. The programs are designed for individuals with a degree or diploma from a recognized post-secondary institution. To assess this, you're asked to submit a copy of your transcript or transcripts as part of the application package. You're asked to upload a recent resume along with a one-page letter of intent outlining your interests, qualifications, and learning goals to start the program. Your resume helps us review if you have work experience that is not evident in your academic history but would meet an admission requirement. You can view further admission requirements and prerequisites for each program on our website, so you would visit mcmasterccc.ca to review the necessary requirements. To understand your career outcomes, it is important to distinguish between the two industry sectors, health information management and health informatics. Shima describes the health information management professional as the individual who provides leadership in all aspects of clinical information management at both the micro and macro levels. Health information management professionals support data collection use, access and disclosure to the retention and destruction of health information regardless of format. Health information management professionals perform qualitative analysis on the documentation within the health record and are responsible for the security of health records. 
Digital Health Canada describes the health informatics professional as an individual who applies information technology and systems to healthcare data. As well, health informatics is described as the intersection of clinical, IT, and management practices for the betterment of healthcare. Careers range from privacy and security to health data analytics. So you may be asking yourself, when will I finish? This will depend on which program stream you select. For the Health Information Management Certificate, you can complete the program as quickly as one year. For the diploma option, students should finish the program within three years. Many students finish between 18 to 24 months for the diploma options, but close to three years for the Diploma Plus option. Even though the programs are cohort-based, we have added extra sessions for some courses, so you can finish the program a little faster if you take a couple courses together. It's up to you to determine how many courses can reasonably fit within your schedule. I've listed courses as they are scheduled for the first year of your studies based on the fall start date. If you're starting in the winter, you'll begin with HTH 101 and then proceed to follow the spring term courses. Please check our website for specific courses you need to complete the chosen program. For the fall term, we run two sessions. Session one courses start in September, run from September to November and session two runs from November to February. The winter term courses run from February to April, and the spring term begins in May and ends in early July. Some courses are repeated in each term to accommodate individuals' flexible schedules. So I'm just gonna take a moment to show you our website. So you've likely seen this all before uh, for signing up, unless you signed up on social media, but this is our website, mcmasterscce.ca. Uh, to find both of these program streams, uh, you would click on programs and under health and social services, uh, you would either click on health informatics or health information management, depending which stream you're looking at. So I'll just show you what um, links are available on these sites for you to research further. So health informatics, go down the page, we'll have more information about the program. Some helpful links here would be course descriptions, uh, those will list um, prerequisites for each course, so it will help you in uh, creating a study plan. Uh, course outline, so uh, the recent courses that we were offering, you'll be able to see the past outlines for that and the upcoming outlines when it's close to the beginning of the term, usually about a week or so before um, classes begin, you'll see the updated um, outlines, if not earlier. Admission and prerequisites, so I'll just quickly click on that, so this will show you the uh, education requirement um, or work experience, depending which one you have, as well as a few of the program prerequisites. So you'll want to review those in detail. If you have any questions, you can just let us know. Uh, we have the schedule and fees page. That's you'll see what we're offering each term and the fees associated with each course. Uh, you don't pay for the whole program up front. You pay on a course by course basis. Uh, instructor information, application procedure, uh, the requirements you need to fulfill to receive the diploma, transfer credits, uh, career information. A lot of people ask about that, so we've got some detailed information there, some helpful links. Uh, so that's for this program. And then when we go back to health information management, same type of idea, same type of link. So we've got the certificate, the general diploma, the diploma plus, we got admission requirements. So these admission requirements are slightly different than the health informatics. So we have this written in a chart format, which covers the uh, education requirement or work experience requirement. Um, computer proficiency, there's um, four courses required if you're doing the diploma or diploma plus, uh, and a little bit less for doing the certificate. So I'd ask you to review those in detail. And again, if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, and the same thing here, course descriptions, course outlines, schedule and fees, transfer credit, career information, policies. So just make sure you're familiar with what we have available on our website to do some more research about the programs. Send us an email if you have further questions, anything you're unsure about. Our email is contad, C-O-N-T-E-D, at mcmaster.ca. Uh, drop us a line, um, and if there's anything else we can help you with, let us know. But I hope you enjoy the session, and if you have um, further questions along the way, let us know, and uh, happy to talk to you. So enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.